I just want to share that photo with you of the hobby horse and the faded wallpaper behind it. Cause that's a that's a photo that uh, was on exhibit at the art museum in April this year, and we spent a weekend there writing about art. And um, when I saw this picture by Linda Connor, taken in 2006, I realized that I wanted to talk about what I saw there because if you noticed it looks almost like there's a little shadow image of the hobby horse in the foreground also shown in the wallpaper behind it so it struck me that there might be a little secret love story there and this is the poem I wrote about it it's called hobby horse and wallpaper wallpaper she watched with love and envy as first one child and children more rode and loved hobby horse hobby horse he made sounds for the children but never for wallpaper and the children never really noticed wallpaper there beside them children they grew stronger larger louder and then left the room forever while Hobby Horse grew weaker, wood cracked, torn, seated, fading, and forgotten. But not by wallpaper. Wallpaper, she faded too, and spoke to Hobby Horse as best, as earnestly as she could. She did her awkward, slow, and silent best to draw his shape onto her own peeling self, using sunlight's bleach, loneliness, gravity, and love. It's all hobby horse and wallpaper.